Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Uh, got a bulletin from Goal, which is Gun Owners Action League here in Massachusetts. A, uh, it's our Second Amendment advocate here in the Commonwealth. And uh, they are asking those of us who are Goal members to take some legislative action. Uh, so I thought I would pass it on to those who might live in Massachusetts watching this video and uh, may not be a member of Goal for whatever crazy reason. But uh, you can get the same message through here as well. Uh, if you're watching this and you're not from Mass, forward this to somebody who lives in Mass. Uh, it could very well help uh, the state of things here in Massachusetts. So I'm going to read you directly the text from Goal and uh, tell you what we're, we're all looking for everybody to do. It's pretty easy. Um, it says, Representatives Colleen Gary and Kate Capanell have written a letter to their colleagues in the State House urging them to support two uh, of Goal's critical self-defense bills. And uh, these bills are H737, an act relative to violence protection order violations. Link will be in the description. And that was filed by Representative Capanell and uh, H2492, an act relative to defense, uh, defensive electronic devices, tasers. Uh, Representative Colleen Gary is the one who penned that. That will also be in the description. Uh, what we need everybody to do is call your state rep, call your state senator. You can call at 617-722-2000, that's the state house. Tell them the town you live in, they'll zip you right to the right person. What they are asking is that you ask your state rep and state senator to contact Representative Gary's office and put their signature to this letter urging uh, and basically pre pledging their support for these two bills to be passed. A quick little synopsis of these bills. Um, the U.S. Supreme Court in 2016, in a case called Catano versus Massachusetts, basically kicked Massachusetts' ass. The Supreme Judicial Court, um, up until that moment, stun guns were illegal in Massachusetts, etc. Uh, but they said that uh, Massachusetts' laws were antiquated and that the Second Amendment does apply to tasers, etc. Sent it back to be reconsidered, which is where we are today. So H2492 will move Massachusetts in line with the majority of the country where purchases and possession of these devices require no license. H736 uh, will make invaluable information about self-defense options available for women and others who have filed for a protection order. Um, Representative Campanell stated perfectly that no one should have to second guess defending themselves for fear of legal prosecution. Currently, when uh, somebody gets a restraining order, they're not told that, hey, you have the right to self protect yourself either with a knife or a firearm. Um, here are your, your rights. Here's how you get a permit. They're not told any of that stuff. They're just uh, you know, told here, pretend this piece of paper will save your life. And we all know it won't. So they're urging you make those calls right now. Make them today, 617-722-2000. That's the, address, uh, the telephone number to the state house. And ask for your representative or your state senator. Again, they'll tell you, ask what town you live in and take care of that. And you want to ask them to get a hold of uh, Representative Gary's office and put their support behind the letter that they penned about these two uh, bills. I would appreciate the three minutes of your life if you could do that for me. And I know that uh, Goal would greatly appreciate this if we could get this done too. Uh, please forward this to anybody you know who might live in and around Massachusetts. This needs to get out. This is important stuff. This is how we make change here in the People's Republic of Massachusetts. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon. Take care, everybody.